for many film critics, this was one of the best years in cinema. Monkey. Monkey. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies of 1995. For this list, we've looked at the lasting cult status of some of the biggest hits of the year in question, as well as the films that were loved by critics and audiences. How you doing? I'm Chili Palmer. Some hold up nicely over time, others maybe not so much. Either way, sit back and enjoy this blast from the past. Number 10. Leaving Las Vegas Let's do it to it. In this romantic drama based on a semi-autobiographical novel by John O'Brien, Nicolas Cage plays a screenwriter who is disenchanted with his job and his life. I thought, uh... I thought I'd move out to Las Vegas. Suffering from alcoholism, he decides to leave everything behind and go to Las Vegas to drink himself to death. I came here to drink myself to death. While there, he befriends a prostitute played by Elizabeth Shue. Both actors received Oscar nominations for their excellent portrayals of two adults running out of luck and who find each other at the worst of times. Do you want help? Critically and commercially successful, Leaving Las Vegas earned Cage both an Oscar and a Golden Globe for his role, which remains one of his most memorable performances to date. I'm telling you the truth, I'm a little shaky right now. Number 9. Goldeneye On my count, three, two, one. Whenever a new actor is blessed with the opportunity to play James Bond, expectations are high. In this 17th installment of the popular franchise, we are introduced for the first time to Pierce Brosnan as Agent 007. The name's Bond. James Bond. It was also the first Bond movie to come out after the end of the Cold War, which provided ample plot material for the film. Back from the dead. GoldenEye was a huge success with audiences and critics alike, and many praised Brosnan as a much better Bond than his predecessor, Timothy Dalton. Well done, good job, but sorry, old boy. And who can forget the awesome theme song by Tina Turner that accompanied the spy flick? Number 8. Dead Man Walking Dead Man Walking! This crime drama was directed by actor Tim Robbins and adapted from the book by Sister Helen Prejean. Good morning, Father. Sister. Helen Prejean, nice to meet you. Starring Sean Penn as a criminal on death row for the murder of two teenagers, and Susan Sarandon as a nun who becomes his spiritual advisor, Dead Man Walking sparked a conversation about the ethics of the death penalty. One's opinion of the death penalty is not the issue here. Sarandon and Penn give powerful performances that flesh out this profoundly humane story that separates sinner from sin, with the actress deservedly taking home the Best Actress Oscar. I hope my death gives you some relief. Number 7. Seven. He wrote about the seven deadly sins. If our previous entry asked us to question our morality, then this next one will turn all that talk on its head. Well, this is just strictly to satisfy my curiosity. When two detectives, played by Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, find themselves trailing a series of bizarre, religiously charged murders, they are ultimately on the path to uncover the deranged psyche of a very meticulous killer. I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. Instead of giving us the traditional cop genre, director David Fincher uses mythology and literature as guiding clues for the audience. The psychological thriller also marked Fincher's return to form after the flop that was Alien 3 and went down to become a cult crime horror classic. <laughs> Number 6. Heat Give me all you got! This and Give me all you got! From our lineup so far, it does seem that 1995 was a year with a lot of quality action dramas. Our next entry is no exception. LAPD, gee what, where the f*** did this heat come from? Directed by Michael Mann and starring Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, Heat is basically a cat and mouse chase between a notorious thief and a seasoned LAPD officer. What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee?
Yeah, sure, let's go. De Niro and Pacino have almost no screen time together, so the audience is held in their seats with the anticipation of the face-off between the protagonists. Because I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. That's my life. The film is considered one of the best action movies of all time, and even served as the inspiration for director Christopher Nolan's Gotham City in his 2008 film The Dark Knight. Number 5. Apollo 13 Houston, we have a problem. Before there was gravity and interstellar, there was Apollo 13. Houston, we have a hard dock. Dramatizing the aborted 1970 moon mission, this historical docudrama by director Ron Howard is a quick-cutting account of the strategies employed to bring the astronauts home after an explosion interrupts their oxygen supply. They don't tell me how to fly the damn CM, all right? You they brought me know, in here do to do a job. They asked me to stir the damn tanks, and I stirred the tanks! With a strong cast, including Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, and Gary Sinise, the film received nine Academy Award nominations and was applauded for its stunning visual effects. Meanwhile, Apollo 13's famous tagline remains one of the most memorable movie quotes in history. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Number four, the usual suspects. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. Understand? This neo-noir stunned audiences at the Cannes Film Festival in 95 and became an overnight sensation by a young and unknown director at the time, Brian Singer. Give me the keys, you Knock it off! Get back! The film stars Kevin Spacey as a pitiful con man being interrogated about the events that led to a deadly massacre on board a ship. Keaton was Kaiser Sose. No. Told in flashbacks from his point of view, the crime thriller is recognized for its unreliable narrator and surprise plot twists. This isn't right. I just want to hear the details. It's all there. And I'm telling it straight, I swear. The American Film Institute named it one of the best mystery films in movie history. And Kevin Spacey was awarded the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his turn as Roger Verbal Kint. And like that, he's gone. Number 3. Braveheart <laughs> Mel Gibson not only directed and produced our next entry, he also starred in it. The film is a medieval war drama depicting the Scottish fight for independence in the 13th century. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Gibson plays William Wallace, a brave Scot who, after witnessing the atrocities committed by the English King Edward when he was little, grows up to become a warrior fighting for the independence of his people. Gibson was awarded the Best Director Academy Award, and the movie took home the gold for Best Picture 2, among several other Oscars. Freedom! Number 2. Casino yes! Martin Scorsese is the master of the mob movie. And with our next entry, he left New York for another city full of sin and excess, Las Vegas. Based on true events as described in the Nicholas Pileggi book, the crime flick mixes genres seamlessly, jumping from comedy to drama. Flight over, honey. Now, big deal, you can pound that shit for two days. It'll never ever get tender, you know what I mean? Starring Scorsese usual suspects like Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, the film is a lesson on how mobsters took over the casino business only to become their own worst enemies in the process. I mean, every time I meet somebody here, the big question is, do I know you? Oh, sure, and now you want to bring your f***ing license on me, no, is that I'm it? Nikki. Scorsese's follow-up to Goodfellas had a different style and purpose, which makes it stand its own ground among an array of cult classics by the director. The time will never be the same. After the Tangiers, the big corporations took it all over. Today it looks like Disneyland. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What's so cool is that this whole evening, all our time together, shouldn't officially be happening. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why this feels so otherworldly. La la la, la la la, la la la. 
I said RSVP because it was a sit-down dinner. But people came that, like, did not RSVP. So I was, like, totally bugging. This is 1990. I'm supposed to be leaving messages in 1996. It's, it's not the right number yet. Good, good, good. Exactly 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 four gallons. You did it, McLean. Put it on the face. <laughs> Get it down there. Shit. <laughs> 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 Number one, Toy Story. Howdy, my name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. After all these excellent, but ultimately dark and intense movies, you probably expected something in the same genre to take our number one spot. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Well, you guessed wrong. Because our next entry is a ray of sunshine among all the movies on this list. To infinity and beyond! Toy Story was the first feature-length Pixar movie, and it changed big screen animation forever. Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? With its untraditional story, no princesses in this one, and lovable characters, the computer-animated buddy comedy quickly became a critic's darling and a box office success. Excuse me, I, I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. It spawned two sequels so far that were just as good as the first movie. And the character of Woody, voiced by Tom Hanks, has since become one of cinema's most loved heroes. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command! You are a toy! Do you agree with our list? Yes, eh. What's your favorite movie from 1995? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It is impossible. Why? Why is that impossible?